You're listening to Texas Real Estate with Todd Tremonti, brought to you by the Patrick Claros Mortgage Team, DP Lambert with Goosehead Insurance, PMR Roofing, Home Serve Home Warranty, Republic Title, Evolution Moving, and Keen Landscaping. And now your host, real estate broker, consultant, and best-selling author, Todd Tremonti. Welcome, 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 folks. Welcome to Texas Real Estate. We're talking all things residential real estate across the great state of Texas with a focus right here in DFW. Lots going on lately. A whole lot going on with mortgage rates. Uh, Fear is in the streets. Buyers have gotten a little bit overconfident and sellers are confused like we haven't seen in probably a decade. We will dig into it today. We'll let you know what you need to know, where the opportunities are, and maybe more than anything, where the real dangers are, where the big, 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 big potholes that we are watching buyers and sellers fall into on a regular basis. We'll let you know where those are and how to avoid them. As we make our way through the show, you can get us your questions. You can call or text right now, 214-310-0008. That's 214-310-0008. 0008. You should have that phone number saved in your phone. You can call or text anytime with questions, comments, or any real estate needs at all. 214 310 0008. Or just like my son says online, dodgermoneyteam.com. Dodgermoneyteam.com. If you ever forget that or don't know how to spell it, don't worry. Even remotely close on Google is going to help you find us. You can click any button, fill out any form, uh, call or text any phone number, and we will get you connected with one of our full time fully dedicated world-class real estate experts who specializes in either the buy side or the sell side. So you have a world-class expert who knows what they're doing. We'll probably talk about it later. The average agent in the state of Texas last year did something around four or five transactions. John on our team did eight this month, like by himself. Not bad. (laughs) Not, Not too shabby. The point is you want a pro and if you have some needs, we'll get you connected with the pro. Call or text 214 310 Zero 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 eight or online at toddtremonti.com, uh, toddtremonti.team.com. Now, we do have a full studio today, pretty fired up. Everybody's got a microphone. It could get rowdy. We've got the English wonder himself, the Yanni Donny, the man, the myth, the legend. Welcome, Ian. 11 months ago, Todd, I was full of hope. Oh, no. Here we go. It's got soccer, isn't it? We fired our manager this week. Hold on. Let me see what I can do for you here. There it is. Sad trombone, folks. Good news is I'm full of hope again because oh. All right. manager's gone. We're going to see what happens. We don't have anybody in place yet. We're going to figure it out. think things are looking up. As the audience knows, I know very little about soccer in England. But, but it's probably not going to work out. It's probably easy to say it wasn't the players on the field. It wasn't their fault. It was clearly the manager. And so that problem has been solved. And it's back to the Premier League, right? Nah. <laughs> There's that English optimism, ladies and gentlemen. That's all I got. We've also got the young MG himself, producer extraordinaire of all things audio, video, and digital, in the studio with a microphone. He's got his hat turned backwards. His headphones are kind of cocked to the side a little bit. He's looking optimistic. Welcome, Mason. He's looking like Luca. I'm optimistic. Ooh, I'm hot. Turn me down a little bit. I'm optimistic about the Mavs. Preseason started this week. Okay. I'm ready for the season. It's already already back around. Current. there's a short off season. All right, you've got zero seconds to prepare for this. What is your what is your season prediction for the Mavericks? Ooh, I think we're going to finish third in the West. Wow, that's a hot take. Not only a hot mic, but a hot take. Where do you where do you think my Rockets are going to land? Uh, um, third lost. to the bottom. That's actually better than most people are <laughs> predicting. I think sadly there's still. I think the Spurs got you beat. Okay. Mavs are the win. Mavs are going to win it all. Just They're, I'm saying. Oh, so far, like the it. Rockets themselves are predicting that the Rockets will once again finish last, which is called tanking, which I hate. I went to the Mavs fan jam last weekend. Let's just say I feel good about what I saw. Listen, I made a mistake in the opener, and I said everyone in the studio has a microphone. Everyone in the studio does not have a microphone, but we do have. We've got a new t- we've got a new team member hiding out behind camera, behind mic. Courtney's with us, and my my guess is our audience will get to know her very, very soon. But today she doesn't seem quite ready, so we'll we'll see how all that unfolds. Listen, let's get into it. What in the world is happening 
in the market. We're going to answer that for you in just one second. Yep. First of all, let me tell you about uh, Cardinal Financial and Patrick Glaros and the whole team over there, Rick, Melanie, everybody that's involved. Patrick has built a team in a very similar way to how we've built the team. He wants to make sure that people are put in a position to succeed, to deliver world-class value, world-class service, so that they are using their God-given gifts and abilities to serve their clients well. You can go to patrickglaros.com for more information. You can go and actually start your application right there on the website, patrickglaros.com. You can call them 972-728-3420, NMLS number 308804. That's G-L-A-R-O-S in case you didn't get that right. That's patrickglaros.com. All right, folks, if you've got questions, it's 214-310-0008 or online at toddtremonteteam.com. Now, lately we're getting this question 27 times a day, every day, exactly 27 is probably, maybe, potentially the math there. Um, also, maybe, potentially, Could be totally different. Wrong. Could be entirely different be. from that number. But we're getting this question all the time. Uh, basically, the idea is, is the year over? Like, is, is the real estate year over? And if you're a longtime listener of our show or a friend of, or a past client of ours, you know how I feel about this. I think this is the best time of year for you to be a buyer. I think it's also the best time of year for you to be a buyer and a seller. Now, it's still a good time to be a seller, but it's not like the perfect prime season. The reason for that is traditionally speaking. Now, let me stop for a second. There's a lot of reasons for this. The, the quick summary reason for this is traditionally sellers follow stereotypes. And the stereotypes say that the best time to sell your house is springtime and early summer when people are out of school, when kiddos are out of school. So, the reason I love fall and early winter for buying or buying and selling is we're typically buying in a market that's more efficient, right? Right now, a lot of people pull their house off the market or they delay putting their house on the market. So if someone's house is on the market, they're typically fairly motivated. Um, there are historically fewer buyers out and about as we hit, as October rolls around. Really, Halloween is where this really, really, really kicks off big. But it begins in October. Certainly, as the weather starts to get a little more reasonable, you definitely see the quantity of buyers dip a bit and you see the confidence of sellers dip a bit. So if you're a buyer, you're competing with fewer buyers and you're buying homes from sellers who are slightly less confident. Interest rates are a factor this year, have already caused those two things to happen. Slightly fewer buyers, slightly less confident sellers. So compound that with the seasonality of the market. If you're thinking about buying or buying and selling I'm telling you, the next 60 to 90 days, depending on how you look at that as contract days or days out in the market, are going to be one of the best opportunities you've had in quite a while. Hey, Todd, Ian here. Long time, first time. Quick question for you. Not at all true. Um, none of that is true. Um, what though, when it comes to pricing in the market, like should a, a seller's thinking, hey, th th it's, it's not the peak season, therefore am I gonna get less for my house? Like buyers may be thinking, hey, this could be a really good time because I may be able to get something cheaper than what I was going to get it for. But how does that affect sellers? Two thoughts. Um, stereotypically, the, the sellers that follow the so-called conventional wisdom, which is not very wise, uh, they take a hit. They believe the hype and they go, well, we missed the summer. We might as well sell it for a little bit less now or we'll have to wait until next spring or summer. So two answers for two different communities of people. The people that are following this general broad based, and I'm not, I'm not hating on the media, but like just the common message that's in the headlines and those things, those people do take the hit. Someone that's working with a world-class full-time dedicated agent that's got a customized strategy is not gonna take that hit. They're gonna stand firm and they're gonna understand we're still in a low inventory market and we're still in a market where home values are broadly going up. Yes, I could find a pocket of our market right now where values have gone kind of flat or maybe dipped a tiny bit. But generally speaking, the long-term opinion and the long-term statistical data points towards North Texas home values continuing to rise. So sellers shouldn't have to take that hit. But in the current market, in the micro picture here, in the 30, 60, 90 day picture, sellers are seeing a very different market than they've seen for the last years and years. And so... If you're making your decisions based on emotion or based on the conventional wisdom or even based on the headlines, you're probably going to take a hit right now. And, and by that, I mean, take less than you should, not necessarily a dip. But if you're if you got a great agent, lender and team around you 
and a custom strategy, you can still knock the knock the ball out of the park right now. So one of the things that I've heard a lot from our buyer specialists in the office is that they're going and seeing homes and quite frankly, the homes are just overpriced. Yep. Because real estate, generally speaking, lives in the past in the way that people evaluate and value their homes. Can I time out real quick? Yeah. The short way we've been saying that is buyers have adjusted way faster than sellers. Sellers are living in the past with pricing, wanting to keep them crazy high and just make up numbers. Buyers are starting to get aggressive. Back to you. Yeah. So the question is, how do you educate, how do sellers become educated on you know, what the actual true value is today, not what it was back in April, May, June time, which is what a lot of people are going off. So they may go sit down with two, three, four, five different agents. They may get wildly different numbers. And of course, a lot of people are thinking, well, I just want to go with the one that's going to get me the most money. But get me the most money isn't necessarily what it's going to be listed yeah. at. It's what it's going to sell at. Let me try to unpack all that. Number one, this, the market has obviously changed and we have to acknowledge it. We can't just, you know, have the market we want to have. In, in many, many ways, our market is healthier today than it's been in years. But to answer the question, how does a seller educate themselves? I'll tell you right now, if you, if you, if you can hear my voice right now, you got a leg up on just about anybody in the market because you're hearing uh, the on the ground live report of what's really happening from agents and brokers who do this hundreds of times a year, talking to thousands of people. Um, just about anybody writing an article for almost anything in our local media is not a full-time licensed real estate professional. The other thing I want to mention is sadly, and I'll say it again, sadly, the vast majority of real estate so-called professionals, licensed salespeople in our market don't have any more information than the than the general consumer. They're also following the stereotypes and the news and uh, the broad-based assumptions in the market. So that being said, a seller who reaches out to a full-time, fully dedicated, trustworthy agent with a track record of success should be able to be educated fairly quickly, actually, because the data is available. On our team, we hire an economist every month to parse the data and publish the data in an easily understandable way. Our data is never more than 30 days old and usually less than that. You know, statistically, it's always less than that. Whereas the average person who's waiting for corporate brokerage to pass down information from a regional or national basis, or God forbid, just be reading the paper like everybody else, does not have recent accurate data to even tell you what's happening in the market or what just happened in the market. One more factor for you real quick. Sadly, our industry has been taught to value property based on data over the last six months. If you go back six months from today, that's like two lifetimes ago as far as real estate markets go. Maybe more. It's really, really bad information to make a future decision based on information that far in the past. And we're having to be really careful with this ourselves because we market our results. And we tell you right now at the Todd Tremonti Home Selling Team, we guarantee to sell your home over the average price and under the average time. But how do we calculate that average? We want to be really, really honest and really, really upfront and honestly pretty conservative with those numbers. So we can't go back six months and say, let's compare a home that's going to sell in November to a home that sold in March before rates really shot up. It's a very different market. That's not fair to the consumer. It's not fair uh, for to the market data as a whole. We've got to get as recent as we can and be really accurate. If you're dealing with an agent that only sells four or five homes a year, they're not seeing that market change. Look, if you have no idea what your house would sell for, if you have no idea what it would rent for, if you're thinking about renting it out, go to valuethishouse.com, valuethishouse.com. Less than 60 seconds, 45, 50, 55 seconds, you're going to be able to get a valuation, an automated valuation about what those prices are going to be. It's going to give you a confidence rating, a confidence score. If that's anything below like a 90 or 95, and you want more information, you want a more customized valuation, just reach out to us, reply to that email, just say custom valuation, something like that. One of our team will give you a call, we will get the information we need, and we will get that out to you. Valuethishouse.com. Let me tell you also about Goosehead Insurance. I uh, reached out to DP uh, just a few days ago, and on his team, Addy gave me a call literally within minutes 
of reaching out to DP just to be like, hey man, just double check in. You're on, you're I've on heard, it. I've right? heard good things about Addy. And Addy reached out and she said, we are on it. Here's what I got for you. Give me like five minutes and I'm going to get back with you. And she did. Five minutes later, gave me a call, walked me through every single thing that I needed to know when it came to my home insurance, my car insurance. Last year, didn't need to bundle. The best thing to do was to not bundle. This year, bundled. Addy took care of it cut everything by a third. Nope. I saved no a little way. less than $2,000 for smokes. the next year on my home and my auto insurance because Addy went through all the different things. She looked at all the possible options, all the companies that they do, and figured out this is going to be the okay. absolute best one. Same exact coverage, better price. Let me interrupt for a second because, look, I've heard a lot of insurance commercials on the radio and TV, right? And sometimes it's easy to save someone money that very first time because mm -hmm. they've switched from a company they shouldn't have been with for like five years now yep. and they're just way high and you switch and you save a bunch of money. But what you're telling me is for like the fourth year in a row, same company, she was able to go find a different provider and bundle you and save you over $2,000, 30% of your total home and auto insurance? This is the third time that we've had a saving. There was one year because we had to do a claim, so things went up a little bit when we had to do a claim that one time. Right. And then ever since then, we've been able to get it cheaper and cheaper. Yes, this was a little less than $2,000 combined between our home and our auto insurance. They did a great job. Nice work. You can it. reach out to them. You can email DP directly, dp.lambert, L-A-M-B-E-R-T at goosehead.com. You can call them at 214-838-5684. And as always, you can go to touchmoneyteam.com, click the radio tab, and you will find all the recommended pros and vendors right there. Hey folks, if you're thinking about buying or selling in the current real estate market, we're going to talk in about four minutes about exactly what you should and shouldn't be doing. Should and shouldn't be doing, right? Uh, there's a lot of assumptions in the marketplace and very, 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 very many of them are wrong, right? So here's the deal. Um, this is not a market uh, where you just, you know, operate business as usual compared to the last seven to eight years. You need to change your approach. If you're buying a house right now, you need to change your approach. Um, you don't need to just blindly go throwing crazy low offers at people and hope that works out. That's not a good strategy. But there is more opportunity for a buyer right now than there has been for a long time. But as a seller, as stated earlier, you also don't need to abandon all hope and just give away the farm. There's still a lot of opportunity for sellers right now. So we'll be back in about, you know, we're not going anywhere, but in about four minutes, we're going to dig into that, what you should and shouldn't be doing. I was going to say, I was told on the golf course yesterday that just overnight, it flipped from a seller's market to a buyer's market. Yeah. I'm guessing you got that intel from a super reliable source out on the golf course, right? Uh, before, Don't name names. Before we get... No, <laughs> of course not. Uh, I'll protect the, protect the innocent or guilty. Uh, before, I do, before we dig into that... That's right. <laughs> before we dig into Quick that... On the draw. Uh, I want to give a, give a shout out to uh, HomeServe Home Warranty. They're nice. our go-to home warranty company. Uh, Christine Crawley. She's our, she's the rep over there that we uh, are in close contact with. She comes by the office about once a month and uh, great. We love her. Um, we really appreciate what they do. They're great at uh, providing a home, serve home warranty to all our clients. Um, as much as we can recommend them, we do. Uh, you can reach out to them at homeserve.com. Uh, it's pretty simple, just homeserve.com. Yep. They've been doing a great job for our clients and friends and my family and many, many others for years and years and years. Just you, you just sleep a little bit better night at, at night, especially that very first year uh, in a new home or a new to you home with a home warranty. Homeserve.com. Now, if you've got questions, as always, send them in 214-310-0008. You are listening to Texas Real Estate with Todd Tremonti. We've got the whole crew with us today. And we would love to help you with your questions and concerns about your property, your investments, and the opportunities and threats out there in the real estate market right now. The opportunities are still awesome. We get the question all the time, is this a good market to invest in? And the answer is always yes. All markets are good opportunities to invest in, but not if you only have one strategy. If your only strategy is, you know, we're going to buy them at fair market value, remodel them, and hope it sells for more. That's not a good universe. That strategy doesn't work all the time. Buy low, sell high. Yeah. But guess what? That strategy has worked for the last three or four years. Boom. And massive corporations have hoped to disrupt the entire industry with billions of dollars in venture capital funding. And guess what's happening to those folks right now? 
succeeding. Nope, that's ah. not it. Uh, they're realizing that was not a really smart business model. Was I close to being right? You were 180 degrees off, but I appreciate <laughs> the effort. It was a good. It was a good try. Mm. Uh, here's the deal: entire business models are being revamped right now because buying at at current market value and just hoping values go up is a bad idea. It's always been a bad idea. It's a lazy way to do business. Um, but here's the deal. There are still significant opportunities to buy homes for you, your family, uh, for investment purposes. We've just got to put a little bit more thought to this. Earlier in the show, I said this is actually a more logical and in many ways a healthier market. It is more logical that if you don't plan ahead, you could make a big mistake. It is more logical that if there's 10 homes on the market and yours is the 10th most attractive, you're not gonna get a ton of offers and sell for whatever price you want. You've gotta prepare, you've gotta have an agent with a strategy that actually makes an effort to market your home and negotiate on your behalf and understand your needs and your timing and doesn't just wing it and go for it. So real quick, I'd uh, love to hear about PMR roofing. And then I want to talk about where the opportunities for buyers are right now. Well, I'm going to tell you about PMR roofing. Oh, thank you. Todd. How about that? Uh, we just came out of the summer where it felt like the average temperature was about 769 degrees. That's how it felt. Uh, roofs took a beating. We're also heading into a period of time where it's not been unknown to have pretty big thunderstorms kind of during the, the fall time, heading into the winter, and definitely as we get towards the uh, the springtime. Now is a great time to get your roof checked out. Give the folks at PMR Roofing a call. Go on their website, pmrroofing.com. Uh, Jordan, Collins, the whole crew over there. Someone will come out. They'll take a look at it for you. They'll give you their recommendations. They'll tell you if you need to do anything. They will also, more importantly, tell you if you do not need to do anything. So many roofing companies will just tell you, yes, 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 yes. PMR is going to give you the actual details and if you actually need to do something. If you do, there's no better company that will take care, great, great care of you. PMRroofing.com. And as always, TotramoneyTeam.com. Click the radio tab and you can find all the recommended pros and vendors right there. That's right. If you haven't gotten the property value of your own home in at least, if you haven't done it in the last 90 days, you need to do it right now. ValueThisHouse.com. You need to know the value of one of your most significant assets, especially in a changing economic climate with all the uncertainty in our world right now, go to valuethishouse.com and you'll know what your home would sell for or rent for in this current market in less than 60 seconds. If you don't love the number or if the confidence score is not high enough, just reply to that email and say, can I get a custom valuation or any sentence or phrase anywhere remotely near that? Can I get a valuation? Can I get a custom valuation? And we'll have one of our full-time pro agents do that for you. Uh, all right. If you're a buyer in the market right now, what you need to do is slow down before you speed up. Slow down before you speed up. We think the best thing you could possibly do is to meet with one of our Tatramani Home Selling Team agents. Completely free strategy call. But if you already have a trusted agent with a track record of success with tools, resources, technology, and team around them, then go to them. But do that before you jump online and start looking at houses. Do that before you go to open house. Do that before you get excited about a builder incentive. Get a plan in place up front. Establish your non-negotiables. Establish your safe, healthy budget, not what you can qualify for, but what you could be excited and confident in as far as payments, down payments, cash out of hand, and all that stuff. If you'll slow down before you speed up, you can buy a home right now in DFW that will have a phenomenal long-term impact on you, your family, and your finances. We'll be back right after news, traffic, and weather in the break with more talk about where the benefits and opportunities for sellers are right here on Texas Real Estate with Todd Tremonti on 820 AM WBAP. Remember, folks, we only introduce you to recommended professionals. Welcome back to Texas Real Estate with Todd Tremonti, brought to you by the Patrick Glaros Mortgage Team, PMR Roofing, DP Lambert with Goosehead Insurance, Republic Title, Home Serve, Home Warranty, Evolution Moving, and Keen Landscaping. And now your host, Todd Tremonti. Welcome back, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome back to our Keen Landscaping studios. The studio is slightly less full. 
in the second half of the show. We've lost the Yanni Donnie. He's wandered off to take care of something for someone uh, in the realm of real estate. But we're gonna we're just going to keep fighting through it, folks. I promised you before the break we would talk about the opportunities in the current market for buyers and sellers. We gave you a few nuggets on the buy side. And I'm going to tell you about the sell side here in just a minute. And we may revisit the buy side as well. But as always, uh, this first part of the segment is brought to you by Patrick Gleros and his team over at Cardinal Financial, his mortgage team over at Cardinal Financial. Patrick believes what I believe, that each and every one of us was uniquely created with God-given gifts and abilities to bring value to the world. And so he's put his team in a place where each of them can help you at the part of the mortgage borrowing process where they are most gifted, where they're most passionate, and where they're excited to serve. So when it comes time to borrow, refinance, invest, buy a home, buy another home, Patrick and his team are world class. That's just the way it is. That's the way it's been for the better part of the last 20 years. And that's why thousands and thousands of Todd Tremonti home selling team buyers and borrowers have worked with the Patrick Glaros team over at Cardinal Financial, as have my wife and I. I have never gotten a residential mortgage for a home of mine without Patrick. That's just, that's the way it is. That's the truth. You do, you should do what I do, I think. And you should go to patrickglaros.com. That's G-L-A-R-O-S, patrickglaros.com. Now, if you're just a real big fan of the telephone and you would rather call them immediately, it's 972-728-3420. 972-728-3420 or patrickglaros.com. That's G-L-A-R-O-S. And MLS number 308804 because we want to keep it legal. Patrick Glares and his team are awesome. Check them out. All right. If you're a home seller and you hung out through the break so you could hear where the opportunity is for you right now, I'm glad you did. Here's the thing. I'm just going to try to be as direct as possible. Sellers are blowing it in DFW right now. Uh, Mason heard on the golf course uh, the other day, yesterday, I don't know, the other day, that our market has flipped to a buyer's market. And whoever told Mason that is wrong. They are factually wrong. They have they have bad data. Now, has our market moved towards a more favorable market for buyers? Yes. Let me give you some really simple, one very simple way to look at the market at a glance and know what kind of market we're in. If you follow the stock market, which many of our listeners here do, you've probably seen the S&P or the Dow ticker Hey, the Dow's up 32 points today. Boom. You have a general idea of how the whole market acted today. You don't know how one tech company or one medical company or one business operated that day. You don't know how one part of it did, but you know how the market as a whole did. That ticker is an average of how the entire market was up or down. Well, housing inventory or what we call the absorption rate is a at a glance number that tells us how the whole market is doing. Now, let me tell you how to read that number. If you see the absorption rate or how many months of inventory are available, in Dallas, Fort Worth, a seller's market is somewhere, let's say four to five months or less. That's a seller's market. If we have less than four or five months of housing inventory, we are in a seller's market. If we have four to six or five to seven months. It's it's a floating number. It's not always a, a hard boundary. Four to five, up to six or seven. That's what we call a flat or stable market where buyers and sellers have about the same amount of leverage. There's some give and take from both sides. Buyers can get mostly what they want. Sellers can get mostly what they want. Any one deal could be way off, but generally speaking on average, things are fairly stable. If we have more then six or seven months of housing inventory, that's when we begin. That's the very beginning of what we call a buyer's market. Now, what does it mean to be a buyer's or a seller's market? If it's a seller's market, sellers have more leverage. Sellers control the process more often than not. If it's a buyer's market, buyers have more leverage and buyers control the market more often than not. At the current moment, most of the most desirable areas in DFW still have less than four months of inventory. Many of them are still less than three. Now, you could see DFW-wide data, and in some areas, 
Uh, Fort Worth specifically, that, that number is starting to creep up over three. Dallas wide, that number is real close to three. Still nowhere near a buyer's market, not even officially in a stable market, but 30 to 40% more inventory than we had four to five months ago. So some neighborhoods went from having one house for sale to having two or went from two to some places they went up to six. We had areas where we had like two weeks of inventory and now we might have two and a half months. It went up five times, but it's still a seller leaning market. So I know a lot of you don't want to get into that level of detail for much longer, but that's where we are today. Now, when that changes, you'll hear it here first. You'll always get the most recent accurate data from a local real estate agent. And that's what we do all day, every day at the Todd Tremonti Home Selling Team. If we can ever help you sort this out for your property on your street, in your neighborhood, in your school district, in your zip code, in your part of town, just go online to ToddTremontiTeam.com. You can just go Google Todd Tremonti, just get remotely close to the spelling and you'll be fine. Or you can always call or text 214-310-0008. You should just have that saved in your cell phone by now. Save it under Todd Tremonti or Todd Broker or whatever you want to do. But anytime you have a real estate need, whether you want to buy, sell, invest, borrow, improve the home, add on, remodel the kitchen, redo the roof, whatever, you can call or text us and we'd be glad to get you connected with an expert that can help you with any of that. That's ToddTremontiTeam.com or 214-310-0008. So back to sellers. Most sellers are completely blowing the opportunity right now. They're giving in to the hype. They're believing they've missed their opportunity um, and they are not fully preparing for the market. So just like I told our buyers, you need to slow down before you speed up. But our sellers need to remain in slow down and patient mode a lot longer than they were for the last five to seven years. It's only gotten more and more extreme up until March or April. But sellers have gotten spoiled to where most sellers were not preparing. They were just throwing a sign out in the yard. And I was I, I joked recently that sellers felt like they could, you know, write their phone number on a paper plate with a magic marker and, you know, staple it to the tree in the front yard and get phenomenal value. Some did that. They got good value. They didn't maximize their resale. They may never know that, but they left money on the table. What's happening now is sellers are lazy for the opposite reasons, right? They think they've missed their opportunity. Why take the time? Why pay an expert? Why put in the energy and effort? Just get whatever the market bears. And I'm here to tell you that is a bad, bad, bad idea. You know, it's interesting. There's two ways to think about home equity, right? And the equity is the amount between what you owe and what you could sell for. It's the amount you could get out of your home. It's the amount you could walk away with when you sell your home. One way to think of it is you're just at the mercy of the market and it goes up and down without anything you do. Another way to think about it is that's the amount you have gone to work and busted your tail and written checks or wired funds and paid to own that home. Either way, let me give you a piece of advice. Don't be lazy with your equity. Don't give it away. Don't sacrifice it. Don't be lazy with your equity. Some of us are going to work and busting our tail every day for an hourly rate, for an annual salary. And then you might have a significant amount of home equity that we're acting really lazy with. That is not wise. Please do not do that. Whether you use our team at the Todd Tremonti Home Selling Team or you use another professional that you really trust with a great track record with technology tools and team and expertise, regardless of who you use as a pro, don't be lazy about this. Don't play fast and loose with your hard-earned home equity. Sellers need to slow down, remain patient, create a customized strategy for your home, and you can still Knock it out of the park in this market. We had a seller last week make $116,000 over and above the average sales price for their neighborhood, the comparable sales value. Basically, they made $116,000 more than their neighbors who were selling similar homes on the similar, similar neighborhood at the same time. The only difference was their approach and their agent. And John on our team blew it out of the water. 
Looks like you got a comment ready, Mason. Uh, I was going to give a quick shout out to Keen Landscaping. Go for it. Our go-to landscaping company. They're at my house for uh, maybe right now, if not later today. Yeah, they're all over it. Um, they're all over the Metroplex and they can uh, help you out with any sort of design and consultation, any sort of landscaping construction or maintenance, retaining wall, irrigation, tree work, any of that stuff they can help you with. They will get on top of it and uh, you can reach out to them at keenlandscaping.com. It is the fall, so it's time to uh, it's do It's the it. best time yeah. to hang out outside. Use the outdoor kitchen. You, get the landscape lighting. Spend time out there. It's yeah. finally better. You want to make sure your landscaping is in order. Mm -hmm. so that you can enjoy it and relax this fall. Uh, you can reach out to them, keenlandscaping.com, or give them a call, 972-424-4851. Uh, Let me repeat that, 972-424-4851. Yep. Tell uh, them we sent you. Tell them Todd Tremonti or the team sent you. That's K-E-A-N-E, keenlandscaping.com, for all your landscaping and tree work. And those, they may surprise you on things they do that you can't even think of. They do walkways and paths. They even do pools and stuff. Do it now. Don't wait because you're going to want to enjoy it. You're already ready, ready to enjoy it. But uh, this, in my mind, uh, enjoying it between now and the heat of next summer is your best time. And we might get a freeze soon and then we're bug free. Man, get, enjoy it. Call them. Keenlandscaping.com. K-E-A-N-E. Uh, anything else in that brilliant mind of yours? Anything you're pondering? Homes on land? Cattle? Pigs? Anything exciting? I actually wanted to talk about uh, my demographic, the first time home buyer. Okay. Uh, not that I'm not, I'm a first you're time a, home buyer. You're a first time home builder, second time <laughs> home buyer. Sure. But just, I guess millennials in general are, are kind of in the 25 to 35 range are. I never know where the generations start and stop or which website decided to draw a line somewhere, but I'm going to take your word for it. And we're going to hear your question right now. It's arbitrary. Uh, first time home buyer. What do you, what do you suggest for someone who's looking to get into the market I think there's a lot of pressure with the interest rates rising and people feeling like they're getting priced out of the market. Uh, what do you think is a good strategy for someone looking to buy their first home? All right. Let's just everyone take a seat. This is an unpopular opinion and it's a professional opinion and you're just going to have to deal with it. I love you all the same. God created you. You're wonderful, but not everybody deserves to buy a house when they want to. That's just the way it works. You need to save money you need to work hard. You need to be thoughtful and careful and prepared. And you need expert advice because you don't know what you're doing yet. And I love you. You might have watched a lot of HGTV. You might have read some books. I was a moron the first time I bought a home. So real estate influencers on TikTok aren't good advice givers? There may be one or two out there that know something about it, but many of them I would run from. And I, when I say run, I mean full out, pull a muscle, get away from the... Uh, catchy clip advice about one of the largest investments you'll ever make in your life. Real estate can be a leapfrog opportunity of wealth building, of safety, security, an investment in your marriage, your parenting, your safety, your security, your rest, your respite, your Sabbath, whatever you're looking to do. Home is often a massive uh, accelerator of those things, or it can be a burden. Let that sit for a second. Your home can be a burden. And when that is the case, it sucks. Let's just be honest about this, right? When your home, the place that's supposed to be safe, comforting, secure, fun, restful, enjoyable, when that place becomes a burden, uh, you, you drive into that driveway or you drive into that parking spot every day uh, and that will eat at you. That will wear on you. Don't do that. So whether you're a millennial or not, but speaking specifically to that first time home buying community, I want you to get this right. I want your home to be a blessing, not a burden. I want your home to be fun, to be a massive wealth building leapfrog opportunity, but you need to slow down and be thoughtful and not listen to some hot take on the internet about whether you should or shouldn't. This is not a universal situation. This is you, your family, and your finances. If you're single, this is you and your finances. If you have children, this is you, your family, your finances. If you're um, at a later stage of life, if you're if you're at a, a more advanced age, great. There's still a ton of opportunity here. This is a this is the wonderful country. This is an opportunity for everybody. The American dream is alive and well. Don't believe the pessimism. Don't spend any time with anybody trying to take the legs out of you, trying to steal your excitement. Homeownership is awesome, but it's not for everyone at all times. You need to be prepared. You need to save. You need to prepare. 
Now, Mason, you, you've heard his story. Uh, if you're a longtime listener, you've heard his two-year flip story. I wrote a book years ago. It's called The Two-Year Flip. It's about how you can massively take advantage of an incentive created by our government through our tax code for you to buy a home, live in it for two years, and sell it and pay zero taxes as an individual person on your gains up to a quarter million dollars, or as a married couple, up to half a million dollars of tax-free profit. I don't know anywhere else in our country you can do that as a traditional, normal person. That's an awesome opportunity. If you plan ahead, that can leapfrog you forward. I don't want to tell too much of your story. It's a personal story, but it's allowing Mason and his family to achieve a dream. You can tell more if you want, but to achieve a dream they have that otherwise might have taken another three, four, five, ten 10 years or maybe never happened. And that can be true for you as a millennial or as a first time home buyer. If you will seek expertise, if you will, um, you know, face some short-term frustration, some, some short-term pain of waiting, saving, hustling, I you, was can, say that, you can experience that, some massive long-term gain. That's one aspect of this advice that I think is very countercultural, but it's that it's not a get rich overnight. Yeah. It's not a quick fix. It's, it's you, not you don't always fix. get what you want when you want it. I want a thousand acre ranch, folks. I don't have it yet. I may never have that. You well, know? it takes time. Yeah, you know, to to do something like a two year flip or to just uh, find the right home or whatever it is, it's not something that's, uh, you know, you're gonna make a bunch of money quickly. Right. I think that's that's but, hard to. But let me let me let me give an ounce of of hope and a and a and a, and a an optimistic viewpoint. It could be, but you want to know with certainty this is the right time. This is an opportunity. No right? guarantee though. No guarantee. And if, if, you're, if what you're saying is, I don't have any cash, but I want to buy a home and there's a program out there for me, I would just say, slow down, slow down and make sure that's the best next step for you, your family and your finances. It might be, it might not be. Debt is dangerous. Doesn't mean it's always bad, but let's be careful. You know, I certainly personally believe that the borrower is slave to the lender. And so you're, you're giving someone control over your future. You're going to have limited options going forward because you made that choice. Again, doesn't I've had a mortgage. Doesn't mean that's bad, but there are structures to a mortgage that are certainly not favorable for some. Um, there are others that are waiting to save to pay all cash for that, and maybe you don't need to do that, but that's certainly a great thing, but maybe you don't need to sit, wait that long. So there's a lot of variety. Different things are better, best for different people, but there are some universal principles here, and one of them is it is not your right to own a home when you want to. Although some in our country would like to say that, and I don't want to get political, but the fact is it's a privilege to own a home. It's one that I hope everyone can experience, but it doesn't mean that's always going to happen today. If you're a first time home buyer, this is a rough season for you. Timing was not ideal for you. I'm sorry. When I was a first time home buyer, timing was relatively favorable. Rates were really, really low. The market was not great for sellers and we had opportunities. Now on the flip side, if we wanted to sell homes, then it wasn't great for us. So, you know, the market is not always favorable, but what I want you to know is it's worth it. It's worth getting your head right, planning ahead, working hard, saving, and looking for opportunities. Now, if you're in that situation right now, you know, the outer edges of the market are much more attractive to you than the hot, most desirable neighborhoods and school districts and things. So maybe you do that for a year or two or three or four, ideally two or more, and you grab some equity and you grow and you build and you learn a few things about you know, I'm not going to get everything I want right now, but I'm going to get everything I need and then some, and that's going to help me jump forward to something I really, really love later in life. I do want to take one quick second to tell you about Republic Title. Uh, when it comes to buying a home or investing in a home, whether you're a first timer or not, the title company can really, really make or break a deal. You get a bad title company, you're going to lose some sleep and maybe even lose some money. You get a great title company and you're probably not even going to know what they're up to because they're going to make things easier and smoother for you. When it comes to buying, remodel, uh, I mean, re, um, <laughs> um, refinancing or uh, exchanging the ownership of property in any way, I want you to check them out online, republictitle.com. Uh, take a look. They have been a leader in the title industry in our region for a long, long time. Find out online, republictitle.com. Also find some really cool tools and financial calculators that can help you understand how to ensure that process, keep yourself safe. All that's online at republictitle.com. I think something, last note I'll say, is something that can get you really ahead from a lot of people around you is patience. 
Yep. Right? It's not popular. S saving. <laughs> yeah. These are these. Yeah. These are things that aren't flashy. They're not glamorous. Like like we said, they're not quick fixes. But yeah. a lot of your peers are not doing them. Right. So you can get yourself massively ahead if you do. You really can. I mean, uh, you have for your family. I did when I was young. And that's why I wrote the book to your flip is because I had told hundreds and hundreds and hundreds of my clients about what a great way to get ahead. It's, it, it doesn't only apply to young people. It applies to anyone who's willing to move every couple of years. But especially when you're young and some of those things don't quite matter yet, like a school district or you're willing to take on a slightly different commute or you don't have to live in a perfect home in the beginning. You're willing to face some remodel and opportunities and things like that. It's a great deal. You can find the book on, on Amazon right now for like $1.99. And we're actually issuing a second edition, probably first quarter next year, an updated version. And, and I, I learned a lot of really valuable skills from renovating my house. Yeah, you did. I mean, stuff that I'll carry on for years to come. Yeah, beautiful. All right, folks, if you have questions, 214-310-0008. If you're thinking about buying or selling a home in the next year, I'm talking anytime in the next year, I want you to talk to our team now. Don't wait till the last minute. Get expert advice early. And we can set you up with a completely free, no obligation. You don't have to pay for anything or make any big commitments with one of our full-time, fully dedicated, world-class real estate agent professionals. We can set that up through Zoom. You can come into the office in Richardson or our office in Fort Worth, or we can even start it out with just a simple phone call. Go to toddtremontiteam.com, toddtremontiteam.com, or you could literally text the word uh, strategy right now. Just text the word strategy to 214-310-0008. If you're even remotely thinking about buying, selling, uh, remodeling in the next year, Start the conversation now. Just text the word strategy to 214-310-0008 or go online to toddtremontyteam.com. Take advantage of that resource, seriously. Even if you just have questions about any sort of buying, selling opportunities, reach out. I mean, our listeners have heard from our team members, Jeremy, John, Ryan, the whole crew, David, Mari, um, Davis. I mean, these people are 100% committed full-time real estate agents. They're not part-time. They're not winging it. They're not hoping they know what they're doing. They're in constant training and education. They're doing hundreds of transactions a year. Their finger is on the pulse of the market. They're finding strategies that work in a changing market. They're kind, so they're, thoughtful, and caring. They're yeah. also wonderful people or I wouldn't have hired them. Yeah. Um, and they make, me, they make me better at what I do too. So you have an incredible opportunity to sign up for a free strategy session with no obligation whatsoever. Just text the word strategy, 214-310-0008 or go online to toddtremontiteam.com. Remember, folks, we only recommend professionals that we have had a great experience with or our clients. So go check out Patrick Glaros Mortgage Team, Home Serve Home Warranty, DP Lambert with Goosehead Insurance, PMR Roofing, Evolution Moving, Republic Title, and Keen Landscaping. Find them all online at overunderagent.com. We'll be back next week, 3 p.m., right here on WBAP.